Hello, this is Chris D from PCX. In this video, we're going to be mounting up our TV on our bedroom wall using this level mount by Alexa. Christy, let's go! Not in front of my computers this time, rather in my bedroom. And um, I'm holding, yes, it's a TV. It's uh, a real spectacular TV, but it's a TV. And uh, it's going to beat that TV right here, which is just a big old school. TV. <laughs> and we're going to be getting rid of that whole corner piece there. That's just kind of temporary. What we're going to be doing is mounting this thing on the wall. Now when we remodeled this room just recently, I built in some supports or some, some studs back in here in a big area so I can have a big area to play with depending on what size TV we're going to go with. What we're going to be mounting it up with is this bad boy. Now there's a lot of mounts out there. We bought a pretty heavy duty big one for our, our big TV downstairs, but this one we ran across yesterday at Radio Shack. Believe it or not, it's kind of rare when I shop at Radio Shack, but uh, they actually had this thing at a pretty good price. And it fits up to a 32 inch TV and up to 60 pounds. Easy to install, so they say. Also it has a self leveling bubble thingamabobber there, which is kind of cool. Kind of helps you level it out without having to get the level out. And supposedly it's got a um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, like a stud finder, but I already have a stud finder here. Oh, anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. There's the box. Here's what's in the box. Of course, you got your swivel mount. Yeah, you got, you, got, um, you got your level bubble bobber. You got a big thing of screws, and you got some more mounts for I think the back of the TV, and then that's probably a stud finder. So here's what's going to happen. This is going to mount onto the wall. This piece here, the swivel, is actually just going to glide itself right down in there, and it's, that's going to hold it up. It's actually a pretty slick little, little piece of hardware there, so let's do it. Okay, we need to find center. Okay, this wall, this little area here from edge to edge is 33, which half of 33 is 16 and a half, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna go 16 and a half. Which we mark it. And I already know my height, and I'll show you how I got my height. I had to get that, all right, okay. Um, I got my height because I used my stud finder down the wall a little bit. There's the top of my little support bracket I made in there. I just want to go down a little bit more so it's not a weak point at the top where it'll crack out of it or anything. I'm just going to pop this at the center hole. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre-drill this one. Supposed to be an eighth of an inch hole. Gonna get our lag bolts out. Now let's get a level. Make our other mark. Okay, I'm using the built-in level here. It's pretty nice, actually. It's not too shabby. I'm impressed. We are level right there. So, I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to drill it real quick. And it'll end up clipping down in there. I just don't want to clip it yet. Okay. What I'm going to do now is mount the back of the swivel onto the back of the TV. This kit actually comes with 
these extra ones here for different size TVs. What you can do is add these to it, and uh, but we don't need that, so we're not even going to worry about it. Um, it comes with a bunch of different hardware, a bunch of different screws, different size threads, different diameters, everything. Um, which is kind of cool because uh, you have everything you need here for a variety of TVs. So I already found the ones I need. What I'm going to do is just mount them, mount this thing to the back. Make sure I got it right side up. I'd also like to mention that this mount kit only cost $49. Right, huh? Yep. $49.99. $49.99. Eventually, we're going to be putting a 32 inch TV in, or maybe a 30. Okay. So, let's put this bad boy up, shall we? Aha. See, now that's cool because then you can loosen it. We can swivel it this way. So, if we do end up want to watch TV from a different angle over here, or if we want to move it over there, or we can suck it closer to the wall. So that's cool. I think what we'll do is end up leaving it like so. And there you have it. Now, eventually, just in our situation here, the reason I left so much room up above is because for two reasons. One, we're, we're going to have a bigger TV than what this thing is. Two, we want to put it, build a shelf up there, and that's why I ran this uh, coax cable up here. I also have a cap I'm going to put on there, so to cover up that hole. But I'm going to wait until we build our shelf to put our dish or a direct TV or whatever um, satellite we're, we have at the time uh, that box up there. That way we can just run the cable straight down in a nice clean manner. I already ran the power, as you can see. Hopefully it's hopefully it works, and we will hide all the wires and make it look nice and stuff. But for now, let's just see how it looks. Let's just make sure it powers on. There we go. The TV. So there you have it for forty nine ninety nine, and oh no, it's just hanging out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a it's a pretty good little kit. It wasn't a bad price, and it installed very quickly and easily. It's not a bad thing for a 32-inch or smaller TV. They actually had other ones, too, that um, you could put up to, like, a 42-inch TV, and I don't remember how many pounds, maybe 100 pounds. I can't recall, but um, that's it. Hope this helped, and uh, don't forget to join up in the chat, the live chat. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and leave your comments below. And last but certainly not least, make sure you join up and check out PCX.com.